Okay, we're back. Um, I'm going to be demonstrating the screenshots of this uh, high definition 1080p video screensaver quad monitor capable on uh, an ASUS G72GX. It's a quad core processor computer made by ASUS. This is a graphic graphic representation of the uh, laptop that I'm using. Uh, so the best way to, the quickest way to get to the display properties for the screensaver is to right click with the uh, right, mouse, right mouse button on your desktop wallpaper and select personalize. Again in X Windows XP this will be uh, properties. But we're going to click on pro personalize and uh, the screensaver is listed in Windows 7 which is what we're using here, Windows 7. It's listed down here on the bottom right corner of this dialog. Uh, in Windows Vista it's listed up here uh, in a text format in this area of the screen over here. But uh, we're going to go ahead and click on screensaver and we don't need this dialog box here anymore so I'm going to close it out <clears throat> and we're going to uh, see the screensaver uh, dialog window. Now we're going to click on the settings button and the splash screen will show for five seconds that it tells you how many days you have left before uh, registration will be necessary. It'll disappear in five seconds by itself or you can click on it and it'll go away. And um, from this screen you can uh, look at the file menu item. You can exit without saving changes or exit saving changes. You can click on the sound, you can show the sound controls, and basically all it does is either mute or unmute the screensaver and it's controlled separate from your operating system. If your operating system is muted, the screensaver will be muted. If your operating system sound uh, is turned on to where you can hear the event sounds and this is, this is checked to mute the screensaver, the screensaver will be muted. The um, mouse menu item shows a mouse sensitivity control. Most of the time this is not necessary to change this. Uh, sometimes if you want the mouse to be more sensitive, if it doesn't when you click on the screensaver and it doesn't end uh, quite as quickly as you would like, uh, you can uh, set it either less sensitive or more sensitive if it's too sensitive. And uh, most people don't have to use this but it's here if you need it. I want to cancel out of this and we're going to go to the help menu item. If you click on the help menu item it will actually uh, launch a web page on our website so if, uh, if you're connected to the internet all the time and you click this uh, help menu item it'll actually load up a page uh, where you can uh, get information and help. Uh, you can read the, re the screensaver's readme text file um, you can download Media Player 11 or higher if you if you need to or if you want to, and um, you can also download video codecs uh, for the the Media Player for the screensaver. Um, for instance, if you if you're playing the video, if you're playing a video and you don't have the codecs for it, let's say it's an MTS or an M2TS video that you've shot with your camcorder, and you want to watch these videos or play them in the screensaver and the sound generates a visualization like a Windows Media Player displays with, for songs, then um, what it means is you don't have the proper codecs and you can download um, those, those codecs from like uh, site number two or site number one. Site number one is from Microsoft and it's kind of hard to find what you need from Microsoft. And uh, you can also download them from uh, this site here. It's the Media Player Codec Pack and that's what we used on this computer and the ASUS computer. We used these codecs so that it would play just really just about any kind of video file that uh, we, we wanted to play in the uh, screensaver. If you want to visit our website you can click the help menu item and then click on visit our website and then just click on this link on this uh, splash screen and it will load up our website and we have a little flash presentation here. You click the enter key and it'll take you past this introductory page into our main website. And we have a little splash or flash, uh, flash uh, presentation here as well. 
and it goes through the explanation of, of what it is we do, what it is we have, what it runs on, and so on and so forth. And if you want to just get to the to the information about our screensaver or more information about the screensaver, you can click on this high definition 1080p uh, video screensaver link here, or you can click on this skip intro button, and it'll take you to this page where you can read about it and you can download it uh, and install it onto your computer. I'll go ahead and close this out. Okay, we're going to click on the settings button again. Click on that and make that go away. Now, if, if you choose to register the software, you can do so from this link in the help file, uh, menu, help menu item, or you can click on this button down here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and choose to click on the button. It doesn't matter. It'll do the same thing either way. And this right here tells you uh, how many days you have left for the trial period ends and that if you register early, you can save 33% off the uh, current registration fee by, by doing so early. Uh, would you like to register the software at this time? If you click yes, it'll say please make sure you're connected to the internet. And you click OK. And then this is the software activation code. Um, it's automatically copied to your clipboard. So if you read the instructions here and what it's telling you that you'll need to do is when you click on this continue with purchase of the registration unlocking code module it'll load up a page on our website and it has uh, more explanations and um, you know if you uh, wish to read this uh, I would recommend that you do so and if you click the buy now button it'll take you to PayPal's website where you can uh, purchase the unlocking code module and um, you'll begin by filling out these these forms and then uh, review and continue and then some at some point after this review and continue you'll see a text box that says paste software activation code here it'll say it out next to one of these text boxes and you simply right click into that text box. I'm going to, I'm going to use this address line one for now because I'm not going to go any further than this but you click on right click inside that box and you choose paste and it will put that uh, software registration code in that text box and then you continue with the process. At the end of that process we will receive an email stating that uh, a purchase has been made and we will take that software activation code and uh, include it in the um, activation uh, registration unlocking code module that we will send back to you via email attachment and um, we use that to uh, confirm the, the purchase and uh, we'll, we'll recompile the program and send that back to you within 24 hours uh, you run the module, it registers the software, and you never have to worry about it again. The nice thing about it is, with the software activation code, if your hard drive crashes, uh, the software activation code doesn't change. Even if you put a new hard drive in and you re reinstall all your programs and you reinstall this program, if you'll send us an email stating that, you know, you've had a hard drive crash or something like that, we just go back to look through our database that we keep, we recompile the program and then send it back to you again and you don't have to pay for it again. You've already paid for it. So it's kind of a safety net feature. Click on the settings button. Click on this to make it go away. And um, we have the about this program button here. Now the, the uh, matrix desktop basically the falling symbols uh, code was uh, acquired from uh, planet source code by a programmer named Allen uh, made the matrix code and submitted it to planet source code which is where a lot of uh, programmers get the code to figure out how to do things if they can't figure it out on their own and I was so impressed with this software that I, uh, I sent an email to Allen asking him if I could use it in the screensaver and he said yes as long as I gave him credit with the link back to uh, planet source code so I did so click on that screen and it'll go away okay now a little while ago I told you that uh, if you have a computer that has a processor that may not be as, as strong 
as some of the newer computers. Um, if you're having difficulty playing multiple videos on multiple monitors, you can check here to display the video on the primary display only. And if you check this, it pops up a dialog box that says show cascading symbols on the extended monitors only, or you can show uh, blank screens on the extended mod monitors. Uh, because originally when we created this uh, program the, fir the first time, it only played the video on, a, on the default monitor. And it, it's password secure, so if you've got it password protected, you know, uh, it won't, it wouldn't trip out. Or if it did trip out, um, I mean, if it tripped out, you had to put in a password. But if you had a secondary monitor on either side of your main monitor, anything that was open on that screen could be interacted with. Well, we decided that we needed to make those screens secure as well. So we, uh, or I made the, uh, the program uh, multi-monitor capable with uh, secure features for every monitor. Uh, but you can either show a blank screen if it's interfering with the uh, processing of the video or you can show the cascading symbols uh, if that doesn't cause any trouble, which it usually doesn't. And, uh, and it'll display the video on the main monitor and then the cascading symbols or a blank screen on any other extended monitor. I'm going to cancel out of that and I'm going to uncheck this. Okay, now you won't be able to see the uh, extended display that I have connected to this uh, laptop. Um, the screen capture program that I'm using will only capture the video uh, using the default monitor. So uh, I'll just go ahead and demonstrate what I have. Uh, we're going to use the full screen uh, mode f for the display of this video and over here you can choose the media file and the and the mode and uh, we're going to select the top one which says play looping single media file and when you when you check these things or when you select these option buttons the, the button down here changes and it even changes positions so it's kind of a cue to the user that hey something's going on down here so if you uh, play a single file you can choose the, that repeating single media file and what it does if you use this function it will literally play the same video over and over and over if you choose uh, play multiple media files you can uh, choose uh, many different up to about 1200 different uh, videos music files MPEGs WMVs uh, and things of this nature